Jiu-Jitsu athletes. Did you know that this new piece of technology can actually help enhance your Jiu-Jitsu performance? This innovative device has been shown to help you build more muscle, recover faster from injuries, as well as improve your conditioning for Jiu-Jitsu. By using this device in your strength and conditioning workouts, you can make huge improvements in your overall athleticism for Jiu-Jitsu. All of which is gonna help you be better prepared to win more matches and get injured less. Plus, stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you an inside tip on how you can get your hands on some of this new technology. What's going on guys? My name is Josh Setledge and I am the BJJ Strength Coach. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing blood flow restriction training, also known as occlusion training, and how you could use this training method to enhance your jiu-jitsu performance. Years of research and studies have shown that blood flow restriction training can actually help you build more muscle, recover faster from injuries, maintain a greater level of strength, as well as improve your overall conditioning. Now you may be asking yourself, what is blood flow restriction training? Coach Jay, why are you wearing those weird cuffs on your arms? Well, let me tell you. Blood flow restriction training or BFR training is a system of training where you apply a tourniquet-like strap to either your arms or your legs to help prevent the venous return of blood flow back to the heart. The BFR cuffs, like the ones I'm wearing right now, will allow for blood to flow into the working muscle, but prevent blood from flowing out of the working muscle. This will give you the craziest pump you've ever felt in your life, as well as create some environmental changes within the working muscle that can help with building more muscle, recovering faster from injuries, maintaining a greater level of strength, and improving your conditioning on the mat. When you use BFR training to prevent the return of blood flow back to the heart, you create what's known as a hypoxic or low oxygen environment with in the working muscle. By using BFR cuffs in combination with submaximal weights to create this hypoxic environment within the working muscle, you replicate the same sensation of high intensity exercise that you would normally achieve with much heavier weights and in turn end up sending the same corresponding signals to the brain. As a result, the brain will then begin to recruit more type two or fast twitch muscle fibers to help with more muscle growth and strength development. This is why blood flow restriction training is such a powerful tool. It allows you to use lighter weights to stimulate greater muscle growth, maintain a higher level of strength, and recover faster from injury with less overall wear and tear on the body. All of which can help you improve your athleticism for jiu-jitsu so you are better prepared to win more matches and get injured less. The BFR training was originally discovered and created in Tokyo, Japan by Dr. Yoshiaki Sato, and the original name for blood flow restriction training was known as Katsu. Dr. Sato and his team have spent the last 27 years further developing and researching this particular method of training. Katsu training has been used to help patients recover from surgeries and make comebacks from injuries, as well as help enhance the performance of the United States Winter Olympic Team, the United States Summer Olympic Team, and the United States military. Now that you have a little bit more of the background information on where BFR training comes from, let's talk about how it works. As I've mentioned before, there are many uses for blood flow restriction training, one of those being enhanced muscle growth. As a jiu-jitsu athlete, building more muscle is a great way that you can contribute to enhancing your performance on the mat. A bigger muscle has a greater potential to develop strength in the future, and having more muscle mass can help decrease your overall risk of injury. And studies have shown that blood flow restriction training can actually help enhance muscle growth for athletes. Here's how it works. When you use the blood flow restriction training cuffs, like the ones I have here from Saga Fitness, you'll place them on your upper arms or your upper thighs. Inflating the cuffs will then create some pressure around your upper arm or upper thighs, which will begin to prevent the venous return of blood flow back to the heart. It will allow plenty of blood to flow into the working muscle, but prevent that blood from coming out of the working muscle. When you begin performing exercises, say like the banded bicep curl. This creates a hypoxic or low oxygen environment within the working muscle and is very fatiguing, resulting in an absolutely insane pump sensation. This will actually trick your brain into thinking that you're performing higher intensity exercise with heavier loads than you actually are. The intense pump sensation that you experience while using blood flow restriction training will actually stimulate the rise of growth hormone as well as mTOR, which both play critical roles in developing more muscle mass, aka hypertrophy. Before we get further into the video, I did want to tell you about today's sponsor, Saga Fitness. Saga Fitness is a technology company that specializes in blood flow restriction training. Their wireless and fully Bluetooth blood flow restriction training cuffs, which I'm wearing right now, are tools that I've been using for the past several months 
to enhance my level of muscle growth, maintain a greater level of strength, recover faster from injuries, and improve my conditioning for jujitsu. Saga Fitness has created an amazing fully wireless blood flow restriction training cuff that connects directly to your phone, automatically calibrates to your preferred occlusion pressure, and provides full workouts and training programs for your specific training needs. If you want to support the channel and get your hands on a pair of some Saga Fitness blood flow restriction training cuffs, all you got to do is just click the link in the description below and use code COACHJ to get 10% off your order. And now back to the video. As I mentioned earlier, using BFR cuffs will actually allow you to use submaximal loads and trick your brain into thinking that you're lifting much heavier loads than you actually are. Studies have shown that lifting at 30% of your one rep max while using blood flow restriction training cuffs can help you maintain strength while you're recovering from injury or anytime you're unable to lift as heavy as you normally would. This is actually great news for jujitsu athletes who compete fairly often. As a jujitsu athlete that's competing every couple of weeks, during the week of your competition, you really really don't want to be lifting that heavy because you don't want to fatigue yourself too much going into your competition. But on the other hand, you want to make sure that you're getting stronger and enhancing performance from week to week. What you can do in the weeks leading up to competition is to still hit your heavy exercises during your strength and conditioning sessions. But in the week of competition, drop the weight to about 20 to 40% of your max and perform your workout with the BFR cuffs on. Studies have also shown that blood flow restriction training is a great way to prevent muscular atrophy or muscle loss in patients who are recovering from surgery. This was actually one of the first ways that BFR training was used by Dr. Sato and his team of researchers. BFR training also has some amazing benefits for your jujitsu conditioning. Have you ever been in a really hard training round or maybe even a competitive match and you slap on a really tight choke and you're squeezing and you're squeezing and you're squeezing, but then eventually you feel your arms burn out and you have to give up the submission. Or maybe you were in a live training round or a competitive match and you were hitting them with everything that you got. Crazy guard passes, scrambles chasing the back with constant back and forth action. But then at a certain point in the roll, you hit a wall. You then feel that all that energy and conditioning that you had early on in the match just completely left you and now you're just struggling to survive and wait out the clock. What you just did was hit your blood lactate threshold. Your blood lactate threshold is essentially the rate at which your body can maintain a high work rate while also being able to buffer the lactate that's being produced by the working muscles. If your work rate begins to exceed the threshold of lactate that your body can handle, your body will literally force you to slow down to bring things back down to a pace at which it can successfully manage the buffering of lactate. One of the key performance indicators in grappling sports is to have a high blood lactate threshold and blood flow restriction training is actually a great way for you to increase your overall blood lactate threshold. When you use BFR cuffs during your conditioning training, this creates a hypoxic or low oxygen environment within the working muscle, which in turn hinders the body's ability to successfully buffer lactate and traps the lactate within the working muscle. This is called lactate retention training. Lactate retention training is something that I originally picked up from Cal Dietz, who is a world-renowned strength and conditioning coach from the University of Minnesota and is a great style of training that jiu-jitsu athletes can use to enhance their conditioning on the mat. Lactate retention training is a great way to improve the body's ability to be able to handle higher levels of lactate within the working muscle, as well as improve the body's efficiency in being able to buffer lactate during physical activity. To begin enhancing your jiu-jitsu performance through the power of blood flow restriction training, you can click the link in the description below and check out these Saga Fitness blood flow restriction training cuffs. Plus, if you use code COACHJ at checkout, you can get 10% off your order and a little bit of kickback will help support the channel. Catch you guys later. Peace.